Hey guys, let's talk about a very unique uncommon from Code Snap, and I'm going to give a more detailed analysis because very few cards intrigue me in MTG Finance. This is actually a card that intrigued me greatly. During So we'll begin from Ice Age and Alliance. Those were two terrible sets. I remember playing them, and that's how I accumulated my collection of Force of Will, was people would sell me their collection because they were quitting the game. A lot of people quit during Ice Age and Alliance. It, there's no question of why. Just take a look at the cards. They were not fun to play with. The most expensive and best card in that entire block was during the time was Bo Bododian Hordes. It was a two double red, and it was a five five, and you discard a card at random, and that was by far the most expensive card. You could probably get multiple playsets of Force of Will for the price of that one card. Now. The mechanics felt real bad. I, it was just a terrible, terrible set. So it was so bad that the third set, uh, this was back when blocks were not two, but three. Uh, so you had Ice Age Alliance and Code Snap. The third set, Code Snap, was put away because that's how bad the set was. Uh, meaning that they didn't, they had produced some of it, they were ready to publish it, it was on schedule, and then they just took it off the market because it was real bad. A lot of people were quitting the game back then, and years later, when modern during the when modern seventh uh, edition passed, and in modern the format uh, went all the way back to seventh uh, edition, we had a scenario, a very interesting scenario, where they just printed the code snap stuff, and no one purchased it. I don't remember. I have a box of code snap, and then two fat packs of it, but I don't remember how I got them. I assume that I just bought a fat pack of everything, and the actual fat packs is the fat pack makes sense because it's very beautiful. Uh, there's an angel, and she's gorgeous, and it's a dragon, so that kind of makes sense. And I wanted to buy both of them to make the, you know, artwork for the fat pack. But no one, per none of my friends wanted to buy this set. It was a terrible set, and that has allowed this card to be very scarce. Now, nothing else in this code snap is one of these sets. That if you were to look at a card to speculate on right now, it would probably, and for modern, just for modern, it would be in Code Snap. Now, let me explain why this is a modern only card. A, you cannot play in standard. EDH is not really that great. But when you look at Legacy, you have Urza's Bobble, which this one is the partner. Misa is Urza's brother during the, you know, Urza Saga Wars and all that type of fun stuff. It's almost identical, but it's worth like one, it's worth under 40 cents right now. One is worth over $44, one's under 44 cents. Now you might say, oh, a lot of it has been reprinted, reprinted, and that's true, it's been a lot of sets, but as a mechanic, it's not that much different. So you have a card, an uncommon, that no one purchased the set of, a wildly unpopular set, during Ice Age and Alliance, it's so bad that they had to pull it. And then when they remade it, no one purchased any boxes of it. Essentially what I'm saying is, this is a very good example. And imagine if this was not uncommon, if this was a rare or, God forbid, a mythic. If they had mythics back then and this was a mythic, we would be talking about a card worth 200 plus dollars, more expensive than Goyf. Now, uh, this is very intriguing because it also means that there might be something else in Code Snap. You know, if this is one of the cards and it's an uncommon, it can go up to forty-five dollars. Um, the Allosaur dinosaur dude is—I mean, it spiked, but not that hard because it's not that useful in most decks. But if there's something in code snap which is an artifact and can be played in multiple decks is maybe uncommon or rare that makes an interesting speculation so pretty much uh code snap definitely a set that i will look into a little bit more in detail because if there is a card to spike hard in modern it'll probably be in code snap it'll probably be an artifact or some card the reason that this card is so good is it's an artifact they can be played in pretty much any deck if you really wanted to so a very interesting card and definitely want to go into a deeper analysis than normally just say oh hey this card spiked 
Um, that this is why it spiked, and I remember. So I have a playset of it, but I did sell another playset during the first spike because I was like, "Oh no way, this holds twenty dollars." I remember seeing quite a bit of this at my local flea market, <laughs> which I'm not gonna name here because I'm gonna check it out. If it's not there, I'll let you guys know what flea market I go to. Anyways, bye, y'all.